What's up guys, apparently IGN's got some news about Black Myth Wukong. Since Black Myth Wukong released its first trailer three years ago, every year on August 20th, the developer Game Science has shown something new about the development progress of the game. However, what's different this year is that we finally got to play it. My 45 minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. Okay. It's worth noting that after the event, the dev team made some adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions received during the closed door evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Cologne. Due to time limitations, this trial version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a set of skills and equipment that will be obtained in the mid game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, the protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three different postures, including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, spells such as Immobilize, Stone Solid, Ring of Fire, and The Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transformation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions for in-game use. It's important to know that these configurations may vary slightly depending it looks like there's going to be a whole bunch of different diversity in the hood which i like is minimalistic you know it's not too much going on there's nothing <clears throat> where i'm at in the screen so you're not missing anything so yeah it looks pretty dope um this is the only uh, resolution they have right now this video went out two hours ago so ending on the different stages the first boss is named Centipede Gwai, and it appeared in the first 13-minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. This time, it awaits players in a horrible cave. Its attack methods include rolling and heavy punches, as well as the ability to release poisonous gas. This gas inflicts a slow- And then, definitely playing with an Xbox controller. Um, if you look to the left here, I wonder what- these different things are. We see the right trigger that looks like for spells, and he said the stances are at the bottom, uh, which we can see the up, down, and right. But I wonder what the the RB, the LB, and all that stuff is. Low acting poison effect on the protagonist, causing gradual health loss, which can only be cured by consuming antidote potions. However, this boss is considered relatively easy overall in terms of difficulty for this trial version. After becoming familiar with its attack patterns, most players should be able to defeat it easily. The second boss is the Macaque Chief, as okay. seen in the Snow Mountain of the 2021 trailer. This time, players can experience the sequence just as it was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow in real time. This battle also holds a secret. If yeah, the snow... <coughs> The snow physics looks dope. If the macaque chief's health is reduced to half within a certain time, like it triggers right his there. second phase. To encounter the monkey with wings, the protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. In this state, the monkey's aggression, attack range, and attack patterns all increase significantly. It gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player, making for a thrilling and intense encounter. The third boss is the Tiger Vanguard, Ooh, who appeared in the 2022 trailer. This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players as challenges this cool looks like he's got a, some type of katana. He's in a blood pool in a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him using this skill during the battle. One highlight of this scene is how the water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three bosses. Not only does he possess both physical and spell-based attack well, abilities, but his bad. combo attacks also deal substantial damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. The chapter experience provided during the Hangzhou event that I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the in-game footage shown in the 2022 trailer. This is a relatively complete level experience, 
featuring various environments such as forests, villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or five types of enemies waiting for players along the way. Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single strike. There's also a detour path in the level that players might not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss, the Poisonous King. This creature has the appearance of a scorpion. Yeah, I'm about to say he does it like either a scorpion or another centipede. But I definitely see the scorpion more now that you see the tail. Scorpion-like monster. After engaging in conversation with it, players need to break the wand. I wonder if this over here means that there is a total of you can have a total of eight different spells. Nine barrel time, beside it to start like right the battle. This hidden boss presents the highest level of difficulty in this trial version. It possesses. And it looks like um, if you go back right here. Players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden. If you look at his gourd that he drinks out of for his health, it looks like. I don't know if he refills over time or not, but you see, it looks like he's already took a swig off of it. I'm talking about down in the bottom corner, and Boss then a second later, the he's highest back level filled of up. difficulty in this trial version. It possesses extremely so fast if, attacks, um, deals, deals heavy damage, and boasts skills that inflict poison like on the player. Regularly, but very it slowly. Took me nearly an or of fighting to defeat it, and there were every time several it instances where I succumbed to poison before being able to use the cure potion in time. And while Black Myth shares some similarities in its mechanics with the Dark Souls series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, this distinction arises from the fact that, in other Souls-like games, players typically wielded weapons like swords or axes, with the grip at the weapon's end during combat. However, in Black Myth Wukong, the main weapon is a staff, primarily held in the middle. The grip on the staff changes according to different moves, creating a varied rhythm and action, even changing the length of the staff in combat. The impact feedback from the staff striking enemies is quite distinctive as well. Coupled with the support from the spell system during combat, Black Myth Wukong stands apart as an action RPG with a unique feel, differentiating itself from other ARPG and action okay. games that have come before. Ultimately, despite developer Game Science providing a substantial amount of gameplay content in this trial version, there are still numerous questions waiting to be answered. For example, whether the protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like, and how many transformations and spells are available. All of these questions can only be answered once the game is finally released. Speaking of which, Black Myth Wukong is currently scheduled for release in the summer of 2024 for both PC and next generation console platforms. Okay. For more on so your favorite games, year. keep it right here on IGN. Okay. It's very interesting. Let me know down below what you guys think about it, and I'm also gonna see if I can if there's another trailer. Oh, get rid of the IGN part and just look at Black Myth Call. See if there's something new. Okay, so this is a new gameplay. Let's see, this is the best and closest thing. See, these are, I guess, other people looking at the IGN. And this is from a year ago. See, this is another new gameplay. I wonder if it's only just, um... Abby. The sound is messed up. Yeah, so it's just like more into uh, the fight. The sound in the video is messed up though. So I guess it's just a clip of somebody who got to play the demo or whatnot. It looks like they're going to end up dropping a demo where they show these fights off or the exact demo that people have been playing. Especially since game comes. Is um, when is Games Chrome coming up? This is 19th. It's actually gonna be the 20th in a couple minutes, so 
in the next couple of days we should be getting some more trailers and then i'm probably just gonna wait to the end until i can see it that way i can give me a, a better look at the game see like the full demo or whatnot but let me know down below are you excited about this game it's still a, a year off so we have plenty of time to wait and see so i love you guys as always and i'll see you in the next video